when I came to the studio recently, I was telling, you know, everyone about the brand Shatawali that has become an institution. You know, so when you are dealing with an institution, you know, there are, you know, rules and regulations and how things are done. But the one an institution gives you that mandate, you know, to do a particular project that uh, we, the institution, want to supervise to see it go well. You know, I, I believe sometimes people like this, you know, as a here, what am I saying? Because if he has apologized, fine, he will come because he knows that's the norm. Like, he would come back and just let everybody know that, oh, he's sorry and blah, blah, blah. Honey, let me just go straight to the point. This is a guy, I was speaking to Dennis of Akwaba, UK, you know, in America, and this is the idea I was giving him that you guys have organized party in the park for over 10 years now. And it's always been the same way. Artists will be on board, blah, blah. But I have my album coming out, and um, I would really want to showcase it to the fans in London because it'll be like four or five months since I've not been to London. So in four or five years since I've not been to London, if I will put it that way. So um, um, we actually had a plan that um, you should do um, a GOG flyer, you know, for me, you know, in conjunction with Aquaba UK. So the whole title was going to be Aquaba UK in conjunction with um, Shatter Movement, GOG Experience. That's give a broad experience. And we accepted that. And secondly, I told him that um, he should try and get the visa for my team. You know, my team is big, but um, we actually came to a conclusion where, you know, I could just take four of them with me, including me, that makes five. So um, we agreed on that too. And what I told him, basically and vividly was that it's time we Ghanaian artists start supporting our industry like gatekeepers, the, 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 the coaches in the game, like how I put it. So um, this is a show that I would want to come and perform for him for free. I don't want him to take any, um, I don't want to charge him any money. I want him to take all the money that he's going to make from the show, but he should just make sure, you know, he gets these two things done right for me. Fast forward. Um, I was there and I saw a flyer featuring, you know, a whole lot of artists with my crew from Nigeria and stuff like that. And I called him and I was like, Dennis, um, this is not what we spoke about. You know, it's like you're losing focus. He said, oh, it's the team. And I was like, no, when I was speaking to you, there was no team. It was just me and you on the phone. I was in America when I was speaking to you and I explained vividly to you, like into details that you guys have organized this thing for a long time and this is where I want us to go because I've not been on party on the park before and this is going to be like my first time and people are going to be excited about it and it was like no he was his team and we forgot about that side and I was like okay then let's take, think of my team here and for my visions and stuff like that and for the past like three weeks I've been asking Dennis why, when will my team get their visa because we all submitted it together and they brought out my passport first and I kept asking him, when would a team be ready? Because I need a team to be there with me so we can have, you know, a beautiful show. <laughs> Could you believe that back and forth, back and forth came to, the last day I came to you when I left your studio, that was the last time I called him and told him that, yo, Try and make this thing possible, because I can't leave Ghana without my team. But like, yeah, it's gonna try, blah, blah, blah. And on Friday, I actually have to get to him again and go like, yo, Dennis, it's like you're joking with that thing now. Is it because I said I want to perform for free? And I want to take this opportunity to tell every promoter out there that sometimes people like me, I want to support. I know Dennis can pay me to come and perform at Aquaba UK. He knows how much, how much I charge. I've done deals with him. And he knows where my weight is, you know. But when you behave like this, and you wouldn't even come and tell people the truth, but you just write a formal letter, and that's what I'm saying. People are not finding the problems, the, the, the solution to our problems, because when they come on radio like this, they won't be truthful. And it's about time, you know, we stand up and, 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 and tell them what is right, because this is like a disrespect to my fans in the UK, you know, it's like a fraudulent type of mind that, that he's, he's taking upon himself because on the day actually when I was even trying to let him know that then it's okay 
If you can't make this thing possible, pay me so I can I will come and perform. If you, because they were insisting I come alone. And they were like trying to tell me they tried, they've gotten a visa for one of my team. I was like, I didn't, this wasn't the agreement. The agreement was do a flyer, blah, 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 and get my team so we can just come and perform. I don't want to charge you any money. And this is what I told him, that he should take all the money. So if you come on radio and want to, I want to play a formal, you know, lifestyle for, you know, people to see how, you know, mature they is and stuff like that. Yes, you are mature, but sometimes let's behave like this, this men for once. Because mm. Nigerians don't live this life. Their competition want to go to with Nigerians. Every time Nigerians, Nigerians, this is how Nigerians behave. So I think that's the whole issue. So, so since okay, you charged because they couldn't get four uh, four other team members visas, is that the case? Yeah. yeah. So, what if you were charging? Was it too much for them to to bear or pay? And is it, that why you couldn't make it? it, it it's been years now. They, they can't even pay me to go and perform at this kind of party in the park. Because anytime I tell them I want to bring my team, I want to bring this. They don't. They, they tell me they don't. And every year, that's what they come and tell me. But they don't have money. They don't have money. So I took it upon myself that okay, maybe I may do a a a sino. Maybe I may need to know. Like I want to, you know, play that giving back to society because I know I have fans in London. I know people love me in London, and I'm sure he did. People came there because of me. Yeah, for me, people came there because of the band Shatawali. Forget about every artist that is on bill there. London is my house. Yeah, for me, like I grew up in London, so I know my mates are in London, my friends are in London, like I have a whole lot of neighborhood people, you know, people around. So you shouldn't just come and play around it and go like, you know, you know, in a diplomatic way. You should just, sometimes we should accept the fact and say, oh, Andy, apologize shut up for me. He agreed with me on this and I messed up. That way I'll be happy. But if he comes and he wants to write a letter, a formal letter, and come and put it there, those things, we know how to do it. I say they were writing it in school long time. Okay, so now what? You, you, you have also disappointed your fans because you told them you were coming. Your picture was on flyers and you didn't show up. Have you apologized to them? Andy, my fans know that I will never disappoint them. But you my just fans. did. No, 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 no. It was Aquaba UK that caused that problem. Mashata, your face was on the flyer. It was I, not Andy Dusty's I, face. I didn't put my face on the flyer. It was Aquaba UK that put my name on their flyer. You understand me? Apologizing to my fans won't make anything, but Dennis has to explain to my fans that he messed up. I didn't mess up. I get what I'm saying. If I have to apologize to my fans, like it's like I'm being a hypocrite. I want him to come out and come and apologize to the fans that he has taken money from and has disappointed. Well, he just did. He, he has apologized to... to no, to he didn't the... apologize as well. He didn't explain it to them like how I'm explaining it to you like this. Like, I believe like you would advise me certain questions of how is it true you planned with Dennis and he, he messed up. Yes, he messed up. He messed up big time. And my lawyers are going to get to him because with all what he has written with the letters and with the, what, 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 what he's, putting out, he's, put, he's put out and everything. My lawyers are going to reach out to him because he's used my image because I told him that let's do it this way. He took upon himself and took a certain step to get money out of the branch of Awali. Okay, so you wanted it to be a GOG, what, a GOG a collaboration? GOG a GOG yeah. experience. Okay. Yeah. Did, did you send him your, your picture or flyers or anything of the sort? Andy, when we, when we, we spoke about this four months ago or five months ago, I guess what I'm saying. So we had enough time to prepare for this. But I was just there and all of a sudden, boom, this guy put a flyer out. So it means you didn't send, you didn't send fly, uh, pictures? No, we or... didn't send him anything. Did they request for it? They didn't request for it. We just saw it outside and later, before they started requesting for my picture and stuff, and you know, I was calm. You know, from when I saw their flyer, so I was like, oh no, let's forget it. This, we can't drag that. Let me just, you know, try and, you know, go along with him. And, uh, you know, at least if he gets me the, the visa for my team, I'll be, I'll, be, I'll be cool with it. You know, but nothing of such, like, such hopping. You get me? So how many people, how many people did you want to travel with? Just 
me and four people. My road manager, <laughs> my secretary, excuse me, my secretary, my assistant road manager, and one security, that's all. Oh, okay. And and, and, and I flew Varosky, you know, myself, because he, he, he had a visa already. Took the lead. But did you took the took the lead there? Um, who else? Because I hear Chris Coney was also there. He's also one of your managers, right? Chris Coney was Chris was also there, you know. And then Leslie. So about three or four of your people were there already. Thank you. So couldn't you have have joined them? I mean, th 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 these four people, two two of your managers. Um, Andy, your DJ. Andy, those, those, those people, those people are not part of my entourage. They are my engines when I have programs. They they have their duties to play to as well. But the people I move with to go to a show with, it's a different thing. I get what I'm saying. For instance, when there's when you have your program before you come to the studio, they come clean there. They they, they do a whole lot of things there before you come and sit down. Hmm. Those people are not part of you. When you come, that's where British will come in. That's where, you know, we will come in there. And my learned friend over there, who looks like Sadiq, too, will come <laughs> Okay. Well, Shata, so thank you very much. Um, uh, for me, I, I think, I personally think, my this is my opinion. I think that you you find a proper way of addressing the fans who paid to come see you, that they don't get disappointed. Next time, even if you are organizing it yourself, they they wouldn't think that ah this guy there yeah, so they no go come. So I so I no this is my my advice. Uh, no, my, yeah, I'm not challenging I, 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 anything. It's not an advice. It's like a suggestion. Uh, so, right now, right now, you you there with the advice you every time. I have advice. No, you know, because what I want you to know is that the fans understand who understand when he comes out to speak the truth about this whole situation. Because I never said I won't come. I was on your program on Thursday that I decided I got up. I, I've already taken the decision of me going. You know, so I knew at least by the time I leave your program, they would have given me a good news. But from, from when I left your station, I was on them. Like, yo, tomorrow is the day. What are you guys doing? You know what I mean? So it's not that I disappoint. I never disappointed my fans because I, I don't disappoint. And that thing doesn't happen in Ghana. I know what I'm saying. Like, you know, sometimes it's, it's crazy when you know, that's what I'm saying. The solution, you see, this is a problem. And quickly, we have to let Kenny apologize to everybody, including my fans. I never disappointed my fans. I can't, I can't tell my fans to come to a class ball stadium and I won't be there. You know what I'm saying? So basically, my fans know how real I am, and it's not about me apologizing to my fans. It's about him apologizing to the brand Shatawali and the fans of Shatawali. And we need that from them because it's a, a gross disrespect. Mm. My politician English class. <laughs> you got politician English, okay. All right. Well, thank you very much, Shata. I'm. I'm